Taking out the garbage is a bizarre topic for a YouTube video, but then I'm the guy that strapped a GoPro to his chest and went grocery shopping, so here we go. In most of Amsterdam, and in many other parts of the Netherlands, there's no garbage day. That's totally great. I hate garbage day. Let me explain. In every other city I've ever lived, garbage trucks come one day per week. Though in Taiwan, you wait to hear the musical garbage truck and come meet them out front. Seriously, garbage trucks play music in Taiwan. Toronto, the last place we lived before Amsterdam, is particularly confusing because garbage and recycling is only picked up fortnightly on alternating weeks. Everybody has these huge bins, and they were such a pain in the ass to carry up and down the 20 steps in front of our house each week. Since all of your garbage is stored outside, waiting for garbage day, you're constantly dealing with animals trying to get in, especially raccoons, or trash pandas, as they're known in Canada. Yeah, they're really cute until you come to your garbage bins and find them like this, which happened to me dozens of times. All of this is irrelevant for us in Amsterdam because here, we have underground containers. This simple solution to a complicated problem reminds me of the myth of the space pen. As the story goes, NASA had a problem with writing in zero gravity and spent millions and millions of dollars designing a pen that could write in space. Meanwhile, the Russians used a pencil. The story is untrue, and both space agencies used the same privately developed Fisher AG-7 pen, but Toronto really did spend $31 million on a raccoon-proof green bin. And some of the trash pandas still figure them out because they're smart little bastards. Meanwhile, the Dutch use underground containers. These solve so many problems. There's no need to store bins outside your house. The garbage truck doesn't need to come down every street. Garbage bins don't clog up the sidewalks. And there's no garbage day to worry about. Did I mention that? There's no garbage day. These containers are found in almost every neighborhood in the city, but not all yet. A map online shows the location of all of them, and there are usually several within about 50 meters. All locations have garbage, but recycling bins for paper, glass, and plastic are common too. So when our garbage gets full at home, I just take the bag out and drop it in whichever container is on my way. The bins are emptied regularly by the city in a process that's pretty fun to watch. The bins are usually emptied on schedule, but some of the fancier bins tell the city when they're full. And some even have trash compactors built in. Listen. Oversized garbage is picked up in different ways in different regions. Then this truck with a giant claw comes by to pick it up. It seems trivial, but it's so nice to never have to worry about when to take out the garbage or to miss taking out the recycling and need to hold on to it for another two weeks before getting another chance. And it's great that there's no trash hanging around outside, which keeps the city looking and smelling nicer than many other places I've been. And best of all, I never need to clean up after the trash pandas. <laughs>